So obviously at the Northampton Museum we have the index which was originally started on the cards as we can see here. Which from the 1950s? It is, roughly, sort of yeah, 1950s yeah. onwards, really when um, June Swan started to notice and she started recording pre-computers obviously, yeah. so it's all handwritten cards and we sort of did this, everybody who came to us with a find until probably um, early 2000s and then it was all digitised. Um, so it was all a bit bitty, mm -hmm. but, you know, the information was in sort of several places and then obviously, you know, with, with you and the University of Hertfordshire, you know, we managed to... Do the digitisation and bring yes, it with volunteers, exactly. fabulous volunteers involved oh, in that gosh, project. Oh yeah. gosh, without them, yeah. yes, it would have yeah. taken far, far longer. And it, 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 just doing the digitisation has then helped us to... Um, yes. kind of map it and make it more accessible to the public now which is which is really quite hugely important. I mean I remember answering people's inquiries yeah. and it would take such a long time to and you then probably wouldn't have all the information because mm. you'd miss something off but now it's you know all in one place yeah. you know it's much easier to access yeah and we've put it all on, uh, accessible to the general public here on the concealed revealed shoe index um, as I'll just scroll through and show you so yeah, as you can see, we've got um, 1,896 pins, which represent yes. all the shoes in there. Yes. Although, uh, you know, um, you know, lots of there's lots of other material that was has, is recorded in there, which isn't on here. So what we, you know, this this is the basics about where these yes. shoes are distributed and age uh, and those sorts of things. But you know, if I just open up the map here, we can have a look at uh, the basics. Where, yep, yeah, so 1,490 um, concealed shoes. Have been found um, in England and Wales, but as you can see from the map mm. here, th th this is this is an international. Uh, it is indeed you know, yes. practice for whatever, yes. for, whatever, for whatever reason, for the multiple reasons that people are concealing shoes. It's happening all over the place, and as we can see, we've got finds from France, from Spain. We've got one find from Denmark, from Copenhagen. We've got finds from Sweden as well, um, and. Obviously, the, the numbers we have here just represents people who are understand and aware that yes. concealed shoes of interest. And obviously, I suspect lots and lots and lots of shoes across the continent are oh, uh, being chucked, chucked away. So even though we have this concentration in in, uh, in the UK, that's largely down to June Swan and the museum here and to yes. being, being a focus for. I mean, I think now as well. I mean, we we certainly see a lot more people reporting finds, particularly from America, Canada, um, Australia as well. Um, simply because now it's so much easier, you know, you can type in old shoe or concealed shoe or mm. hidden shoe and suddenly it up pings the history pin, you know, or Northampton Museum and Art Gallery's website and then people, you know, have that opportunity to go, mm, somebody is interested, you know, and, and you know, they're really keen to report their finds and to know more about them. Yeah, and as you can see here, these, these, are, these are the finds that are in the index which are, have been reported to the museum. Uh, from across the United States here, and you know, obviously, you know, there's 150 there in the, in the New York, Massachusetts area alone. And again, this is this is about people being aware that they are of interest. Yes, um, I mean, we recently as well. I mean, had our first known find in um, Texas, okay. um, which is yet to be added yeah. onto the index. But yes, they just yeah. coming in all the time. Yeah, yeah.